Good day, Will England here with the Sprint Product Ambassadors. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a closer look at the Google Pixel 3a, available now on Sprint. It's a mid-range phone, priced at a reasonable $399 or even less if you uh, go for installment billing or a lease. Very nice packaging, bright white box, sharp corners, well-constructed cardboard to protect the phone and shipping. We've pre-cut the tape so we can actually remove it. Inside the box, you find your typical phone. It's a black slab with lots of plastic on it. This is the 3A, the normal-sized phone. It features this FHD Plus screen, organic LED, OLED, edge to edge. We'll look more at that in a moment. Um, inside the box, we have our cardboard flat. Our Google safety, security, and ubiquitous SIM key. Keep track of that if you need to change SIMs. It comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, if that's of use to you. If you're a late model computer user or a Mac user that only has USB-C ports, that's fantastic. If you're not, well, there you are. It also comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter to connect legacy USB-A full-size cables to the phone for data transfer or maybe charging. And speaking of charging, it comes with a charging block, a nice white square, a USB-C output on the side, and super fine print. 90% chance we won't get this to focus, but it does say 18 watts new trifocals let me confirm that at no idea um anyway the specs say it's an 18 watt charger and they claim that they can charge this pixel with its 3000 milliamp battery in to about 75 percent battery life in just 15 minutes so it's a really fantastic charger for an all day long phone we take off the wraparound plastic and screen protector. Glossy black phone. Pretty standard side front camera, top speaker, and a chin down here. It'll have some buttons on it once we activate it. On the bottom, if it'll catch focus, which it never does, you have a speaker output, USB-C input, and speaker output on the bottom. Around the right side, you have volume and power rockers across the top your sim card slot not that this is going to catch focus on a black on black phone and something new again google had removed the three and a half inch headphone port they've re-added it to the top of the device now so your fantastic old school three and a half inch headphones will still work on this side we have way up top which is good it won't get caught by most car carriers is the Google button. Like that to bring up Google Now. On the back, it's not glass. It's not steel. It's a nice matte polycarbonate with a muted logo. If you're a person who doesn't need to show off, hey, I've got the latest, greatest brand name phone, this is for you. This polycarbonate is nice, great hand feel, good traction. It's not going to pop out of your hand. Across the top, we have our back camera and our flash. So the Google Pixel 3a, in addition to having a full HD display, is running a little bit older silicon-on-chip uh, from Qualcomm with Adriano GPU. Doesn't rate as high on games, but the strong advantage to a little bit older chip and base GPU is outstanding battery life. You're going to be able to get your work done find out what you need to know, and do everything in a full day without having to recharge. And like I mentioned, if you do need to recharge, the included Google Charger, which specs say, and I can't read the numbers, but specs say pushes out 18 watts of power and gives you a 75% charge in just 15 minutes. Really brilliant phone, looking forward to activating it, trying it out. Be running down to a motorcycle dealership here in an hour or so 
take a bunch of pictures outside and see how the camera works. The camera here is the same 12 megapixel unit that they have on the Google 3A XL and the full price Google 3. Uh, yet this is the mid-range budget model. So you still get the same camera from the top of the line phone in a mid-range priced phone. Available today on Sprint. Again, this is Will England from the Sprint Product Ambassadors giving you your first unboxing look at the Google 3A.